okay now that we have the three frames already now let us just quickly learn a little bit of uh, the alignment options now I made the three copies of this frame and they are in, in front of me but say for example if I want to align them now as I can clearly see the distance between the three frames is not exact and I can clearly see that there are more distance between these two frames than this one so let me just teach you a little bit of basics of the alignment options now if I would first if I like to rearrange them for example I right click and I can always choose a particular layer and I can misalign them as you can see clearly here all misaligned if I want to align them together so I'll first select all the frames put together as soon as I select them the alignment options becomes active if none of the frames are selected they become gray but once select all the three frames you will press shift to select all the three frames and you can see that the alignment options have come alive the first part the first part is basically to align them according to a particular edge so if I want to align them to a top edge so right now whichever is the top one it will align accordingly to the top edge I'll press ctrl Z if you have anything which is aligned according to the vertical center then whatever is um, the, the middle it will just come to that yeah then the third option is to align the bottom so whatever uh, uh, you know layer is at the bottom most with this one this two will align it accordingly to the, the the bottom most one like this okay now I want to first what I want to do is I want to put them all in the center so I'll click on this I got them all in the center that's fine I want to fix the distance equal distance between the three frames now if I want to fix the distance between them then I have to go to the next bunch of buttons which is starting from this one which says distribute left edges okay I have all my frames selected I'll click on distribute left edges and there you go you get an equal distance between these three frames but please remember this will only happen if my frames are of equal size now here I made sure that I got these other two copies from one copy remember we pressed alt and we made copies that's how we did here so I'm pretty sure that all the frames are of equal size that is how it was made possible now that I have the frames let's get the photographs now for me to go to photographs I can get all the photographs at one go I'll go to file open and I will choose this one this one and uh, I'll press I'll press control to select multiple files here I'll select this three images okay and I'll click open and all the three images are opened in different lay in different files as you can see I need to copy this file and bring to my art bring it to my layers uh, tutorial file so I'll go to fracture control a control C got copied come back to layer tutorial control V all right and this I can always make sure it is lying below the frames because remember I have to make sure that the frames are on top and my images are in the bottom so since this layer is selected I will call it image one okay from my first frame which is here yeah now as you can see it is not exact it is becoming a little smaller so what I will do I'll press ctrl T just for free transform I'll move it to a good edge I'll press shift and increase the size pressing shift ensures that your expectation doesn't change I'll confirm it by clicking on a tick button here which says commit tra transform or I press enter now I, I can see that some edges are going out I can go back to my selection tool which is this square thing I'll select and I'll delete while doing this make sure that you are in the right layer while selecting and while deleting because you don't want to delete anything from a different layer altogether press ctrl D to remove selection I'll do the same for all my images now I'll go to the second image the day okay there are different ways of actually bringing this layer into I composition I showed you control C control V option control A control C control V the other option is that you right click and can you see duplicate layer here if you click on duplicate layer it will tell you where where do you want this what do you want this layer to be put I'll call this image 2 and I'll select the document my document is tutorial all right okay if I go back to my tutorial I can see it's right there okay this goes below because this is my image 2 all right and this is falling in the right place I'll the same with this image as well press ctrl T make it bigger now resize it the way you want it confirm selection tool select ensure that you are in the right layer and press delete 
press Ctrl D to remove selection. I'll go back to the third one. For the third one, let me try another option. Let me be on the move tool. I'll click, I'll drag, I'll go to my layer tutorial, wait for a second until my layer tutorial comes, bring my mouse back to the center of the frame and leave the mouse. And here it goes. I get the third image as well. I'll rename it image three. Done. Now I'll press, I'm already on the move tool. I'll bring my image below the frame, press Ctrl T, make it bigger, accommodate the entire frame, press confirm, selection tool, select and delete. So that concludes my image insertion into my art gallery and now I'm done and ready to do some retouching to make it look more real. So that concludes this tutorial and we'll do all that in the next tutorial.